Hey, this is Steve from Publish Press. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add more than one author to WordPress posts. By default, WordPress only allows you to add one author to each post. The Publish Press Authors plugin that we're looking at here allows you to add as many authors as you want. Let me give you a quick introduction to how it works. I have a brand new WordPress site set up here. If I click on Add New in the Plugins area, I'm going to search for Publish Press Authors and click the Install button. And in a second, I'll be able to click the Activate button as well. And now we'll see an Authors link on the left side. If I go to Authors, you'll see that I have a couple of authors already set up. I have myself, Steve, and also Jane and John. I'm going to add an extra author to this as well. I have the choice of either mapping an existing user who already has a WordPress account or creating a whole new guest user. This guest user won't have a username, won't have a password, won't be able to log in but they will be shown as the author. So, in this case, I'm going to enter the name guest user. This is going to be someone who doesn't have any ability to log into WordPress, but can be chosen as a author for the content on our site. So I'm going to click on the edit author profile link for the guest author here. I can give them a name. I can give them an email address and I can upload a file and they have an avatar as well. I can add a website, I can add biographical information. If I have the pro version of the plugin, I can add more fields as well but that should be good enough for now. I've updated this new authors account. And if I go back, I should see now that my new guest author is listed alongside Jane and John. John is marked as a user. He is actually linked to a real user on the site. Unlike Jane and this guest user who are not. But all of them can be added as authors to my content. If I go to the post screen, I have one post already set up with multiple authors. If I click on add new, this will be my new post. And when it comes to the authors, on the right side, I can choose as many or as few as I want and I can rearrange them here. If I click on publish and then view post, I should see all of these authors down here underneath the content. And each of them have their own personal author URL. So in the case of John, if I click on John's link, I will see John's page with all of the content that John is associated with. There are one or two things to point out before you go too far with authors. One is that lots of things are done automatically for you. You notice this authors box appear here. And there are also short codes and widgets available to show your authors. However, this authors link at the top is not automatically changed into multiple authors. We do have some instructions on our site on how to change that or you can disable that, perhaps in your theme settings, and just allow this area here to show the authors for your site. This video is a getting started guide to publish press authors, so I won't dig too deep into the technical side of things, but it is easily possible to change the layout and design of how the authors appear on the site. If you go to the admin area, to authors and settings, 
you can tweak some key things about how the plugin works. Under the display tab, you can decide whether that author's box automatically shows under your content or not. If you uncheck the box, it will not show. You can set the title for that author's box. Adding an S to show authors would be a good choice for a site that's often going to have multiple authors. And you can choose from multiple layouts as well. You can have a boxed layout which looks like a traditional big box author profile, or you could go inline, which is more like the normal WordPress layout with simply the author's name. You can decide whether to show the author's email and website link. Let me give you a quick example of what this looks like with Boxed. So Boxed is going to be the display and I'm going to show it underneath my content. If I go to the post screen and click on the new post I just made, you should see now that there's now a large box that we can start to fill in with information about each author. Let me also introduce you to the widgets available to show the authors on your site. If you go to the widgets area, there should be a list of authors And there should be a widget that also shows the author of your particular post that you're looking at. So this is going to show this author's list. This is going to show a list of all my authors. And you have a choice to also show authors who may not have written anything yet on your site. And this post authors box will show the people that wrote the post you're looking at right now. So let's see what the difference is. I've enabled both of these widgets and I'm going to be looking at a post which has Steve, Jane and John as the authors of this post. So we have the content box that we've seen before. And if I scroll down, this widget here is showing the authors of this particular post, Steve, Jane, and John. And underneath, you have a list of all the authors on your site. As I mentioned before, there are also short codes and PHP snippets and lots of other ways to show your authors as well. Published press authors really is a powerful way to collaborate as a team and show lots of authors for your WordPress content. The free version is available on wordpress.org and there's a pro version available on publishpress.com which allows you to have custom layouts and also lots of custom fields with extra information about your authors.